I didn't hear you. Hanging on me Mike? again. What kind of car I know this place where we can meet some girls. Hey, I recognize you. You're Dominic. You're Aldo's guy, right? Show some fucking respect when you say his name, Chief. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Aldo was a friend of mine. My name is Ken Jameson. We grew up together in Hell's Kitchen. I had some unfinished business when Aldo died. Something he would have taken care of. Will you help me? Depends. What kind of business are you talking about? Look, before I joined the force, Aldo and me used to offer protection to small-time crooks. We'd keep the big dogs off their backs and get a fat kickback in return. Well, as you can imagine, times have changed. I still run a good shakedown, but now I got a badge to back me up. But this one scumbag, a shopkeeper, he's threatening to turn me into internal affairs. I can't lay a finger on him, but I need to send him a message. Go to his store and smash the shit out of the place. 
That ought to shut him up. We cool? We're cool. But here's the thing. I don't know what kind of deal you had with Aldo, but I ain't gonna do this for nothing. You better be prepared to return the favor. Maybe get your boys in blue to lay off me once in a while. Goodbye, Chief. Oh, man. I got the door. Some schmucks. Hey, Mac, you know who I am? No. You the one laying bricks for this shit house? Oh, real funny, wise guy. No. My name is Victor Grosser. I'm boss of Local 415, the construction union. I hear you're good with solving problems. Well, I got a problem, which means my guy's got a problem. We need your help. Okay, Grosser. Tell me what you want, and maybe I'll think about it. Great. They told me you'd play ball. Okay, you know the bank down the street? Yeah, brand new place. But the shop that built it used non-union guys for the construction. And today, those fat cat fuckers ain't hiring my guys for their maintenance contracts. Well, you know what happens when you hire scabs? You get shit for quality. That bank's a death trap, a real public hazard. You following me? I want you to go there and bring the place down. If it ain't union, it's rubble, right? That'll teach them a lesson and get my boys some extra work. So you in? I'm in, but I won't do it for free. If anything bad happens to one of my places, for whatever reason, I want to know that you'll go there and get it fixed up, no questions asked. I hope we understand each other, Grocer. Heard you had a big score the other night. Finally.
I knew it. I knew I'd see you here eventually. Really? And what else do you know, huh? Maybe you know too much. Whoa, wait a sec. Calm down. I'm not here to bust you or anything. My name is Leon Brinker. I'm here to talk to you. To ask for your help on behalf of some important men. Are you interested? Maybe. Why don't you tell me what this is all about first? Okay, listen, I'm a lobbyist in Washington. I represent the real patriots of this country. It's industrialists. Think about it. Where would we be without oil and atomic energy, huh? These men are heroes. Without them, we'd be living in the Stone Age. So here's the problem. Some hotshot senator is trying to shut my friends down. He's a liar, Dominic. He's forging scientific studies, trying to show that we're polluting the Earth or some bullshit. I need you to steal those documents, Dominic. I need to see what his research is so I can discredit it before he goes public. Deal? Deal. I'll do this. But you'll need to do something for me in return. You have friends in the government. So spread the word. If any of my men end up in the hospital, keep their files out of police hands. I want my guys healed and out of there fast. See you around. So, we're going to the clubs later, right? I think I can crack it. Come on, come on. Crack it. Now. Got the last tumbler. Hold on. Good job. Right behind you. Would you like a ticket, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight.
Dominic. Maria? What do you want from me? I want your help. I know all about El Presidente, what you tried to do, but he's okay now. And Dominic, I forgive you. Besides, right now you're the only one I can trust. What makes you think you can trust me? And how do I know this isn't a trap? Look at me. I'm not lying to you. I'm in trouble and I need your help. There are people in the government who blame me for what you did. And they're planning to kill me. The man who wants me dead is Rodrigo Borges. We both work in Castro's cabinet, but he's corrupt and dangerous. I'm afraid to be alone with him. He's made his suspicions about me known in no uncertain terms. Dominic, you need to kill him before he kills me. Will you do this? Okay, I'll take care of him. But I ain't gonna stick my neck out for nothing. You better be prepared to help me. You've got connections, you can put people in jail. We'd call it putting a sting on somebody. I hope you're prepared to return the favor. Cuba's changing, Dominic. Guys like us, I don't know if we got a future here. Señor Dominic, hola. Me llamo Juan Pablo del Monte. Hey, I don't understand what you're saying, amigo. Oh, I'm sorry. They told me you spoke a little Spanish. My name is Juan Pablo. Soy un magistrado. Y, lo siento, what you would call a chief judge. And I need your help. Why should I help you? And how do you know me? I am friends with Maria Torres. I believe you know her from the government. She told me many things about you, señor. And although we come from different sides of the law, I believe we have something in common. Los dos buscamos justicia. Oye, I recently presided over the trial of a police sergeant. He was accused of brutality. Él era un animal, and guilty. But la policía intimidated the jury into acquitting him. Que corrupción. Justice may have been perverted that day, but my will was not. Find this man and teach him the true meaning of brutalidad. ¿Qué le parece? Okay, I'm in. But listen, in my country, doing a favor means we expect one in return. So if any of my family ends up in jail for whatever reason, I want you to pull some strings and get them out. Comprende, amigo? Oye, amigo, do you know who I am? Yeah, you're the chief of police. The, uh, Capitan de la Policia. The Americano has a gift for the mother tongue. Bueno. My name is Jamie, Jamie Agassi. Your reputation precedes you, Americano. 
But I have heard that you have another gift as well. A gift for solving problemas, verdad? I don't know what you heard, but I'm listening. Talk to me. Bueno, you Americanos think we have no respect for order here in Cuba, but you are mistaken. Cubanos respect it very much. They respect me y mis hombres. Y entonces, when somebody does not respect us, they must be taught a lesson. La protección de la policía is not free in this country. It must be earned or it must be paid for. And the men who run the Batagle Cement Depot do neither. Teach them that ignoring the natural order of things has consequencias. Blow up their business, Americano. I know it's something you do rather well. Hacemos trato? Okay, Capitan. It's a deal. But here's what I want in return. When this is through, you gotta help me put a rival family member behind bars. Comprende? Adios. Dominic. He's got a gun! Right between the eyes! 
Hey, how's your sister doing? Spot, boss. I wish there were so many spots in something. Holy shit, move! Dominic. Flying with us today, senor? Enjoy your trip, senor. Oh, I hope that joke don't get me in trouble. Get out of my way, you guys. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight. That Teamster guy, Jimmy.
Oye, Yo, ain't you... yeah, that wise guy from New York. Check your facts, man. You got the wrong guy. Oh, no, it's you. I know it. Hyman Roth talked about you. My name is Joey Katz. I'm with the ATF. We're working a thing down here, but uh, it ain't going so hot. I could use someone with your kind of, you know, connections. Interested? You know Mr. Roth, huh? All right, keep talking. I ain't said no yet. Okay, here's the lowdown. One of the owners of Basso Oil is smuggling nitroglycerin. He's either a genius or a grade-A moron because he's using his fuel trucks as mules to move the explosives. Problem is, I ain't got shit on the guy. I can't get a warrant. I need you to blow up one of his gas stations. And I'm talking big time. I want to feel a fireball all the way from here. Do that and I can claim probable cause that my guy's got explosives hidden on site or whatever. Once I get my warrant, I can wrap this baby up and move on. What do you say? It's a deal. But listen, I don't work the same as Mr. Roth. I'm gonna want something in return, understand? Now you got friends in the government. Maybe you could put a sting on another family. I hope we're seeing eye to eye, cats. Goodbye. Bomb here will take the whole set of bomb there. Whistle if somebody spots us. Stay sharp. Good work. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you mean? That was a perfectly good dinner. Hey, man, you look familiar. No, I don't. You don't know me, asshole. Got it? Don't pull that wise guy shit with me. You're Dominic. I recognize your mug from the Wanted poster. But stay cool, man. I don't give a damn what you do. My name is Pedro. I'm a private investigator, and I need some help. Why should I care about the problems of some private dick, huh? Watch who you're calling a dick, dumbass. I got connections that could save your ass or put it behind bars, so listen up. I was working a freelance case. Peep job. I got a tip that some VIP was in town to bang a Hollywood floozy, so I tracked them down to snap pictures of them fucking. What I didn't know was the VIP lives in the White House, and the floozy? An A-lister. The problem is my gear got confiscated by airport security. Those pictures are dangerous, man. Our government kills people to keep their secrets quiet, and if they find out what's on that camera, I could be next. You gotta get it back, okay, man? Okay, it's a deal. But you better do something for me, too. You got connections. Tell the police that when some shit goes down, I don't want to see them. For a long time. I hope we understand each other, Pedro. Stepped in any shit lately, Dominic? I figure you must be in trouble if you've come to see me. So what's going on? Eh, you caught me at a bad time. 25 cents per gallon? How am I supposed to afford it? was acting off. Hey there, son. How are you? Governor Rizzo. Hope you'll vote for me in November. Whoa. Wait a sec. I know you. You're the lieutenant governor. Shouldn't you be cutting the ribbon at a mall or something? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, okay, you got me. All right, I'm not governor yet, but with your vote, I will be. Well, with your vote and your help. Tell me, son. What would you say if I asked you to help grease the gears of democracy, huh? What? You want some ballot boxes stuffed? Is that it? Talk to me. Ah, nah, nothing like that. This is Florida, son. People won't stand for any election day shenanigans. No, my beef's with my rival. He's a pretty boy actor who thinks he can change the world. That's all well and good, but why do you have to start in my state? Look, we got a debate coming up on the TV. I can beat him on policy, but not on looks. So I want you to give him one hell of a shiner, and a couple of cuts, too. Don't kill him, but the worse off he looks, the better it'll be for me. 
He's probably out campaigning, so it should be easy to find him. So, will you do it? It's a deal. But since you're such a good politician, you already know how tit-for-tat works. So spread the word. If any of my family ends up at the hospital, tell the police to lay off. I want them out of there fast. Oh, and uh, good luck with the debate, Rizzo. I didn't hear you. Hanging on me again. It really makes you think. Hello, Dominic. What do you want, Captain? My nose is clean. Just be cool, okay, Dominic? Look, I'm Wayne Reisdorf, Chief of Police. You were referred to me by Michael Corleone. Yeah, that's right. I've known the Don for years. He said you might be able to help me. How do you know Don Corleone, huh? Look, the Corleones helped me out of a jam when I lived in New York. Took care of a few skeletons for me. And when Michael needed a favor in return, I was there for him. Well, now it's society that needs a favor. Justice, really. Listen up. We hauled in a serial rapist a few months back. He was preying on the girls from Luscious. But my detectives botched the evidence, and bam! Just like that, the bastard's back on the streets. But the worst thing is that this cocky little shit looked me in the eye and told me he'd do it again. I can't let that happen. I want him dead. Will you do it? Okay, I'll do it. But this is gonna bring down a lot of heat on me. So I'll need something done in return. The next time your boys are chasing me down, call them off. Just give them the code to back away. I'll see you around, Reisdorf.
get this guy. Let's get What's the name of that place, Chief? You know, the one with the, okay. the thing run by that guy? And they had the best whatchamacallits I ever had. Your boss you shouldn't have ordered the fish. No, I'm not feeling right. I'm moving. I'm moving.
Shit, almost had it. He's over there! Skinny horse tag, boss. 